else to do. I don't have it. Okay, okay, it's game over, man. Oh, god damn it. It's all However, bad. it is somewhere in this room. Oh. What? The bullet that I killed Rook where pierced through his body. So where did the bullet go? Earlier, you explained it like this. The bullet that took Rook's life pierced through his body and then hit the vest. Yeah, that's right. It'd be dangerous if he hadn't worn that bulletproof vest. However, now that the fake assassination plan has come to light, we know that the bullet is in the bulletproof vest was prepared earlier. So then, where did the bullet go? Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Do you have the answer? Do I have evidence that shows the location of the bullet that killed Mr. Well, there are evidence. I mean, yeah, it could be the bullet inside the, the bulletproof vest. Yeah. But the president was wearing that though. He's the president though. So, it's a fake bullet. He didn't really shot it. Shot it. He just <sighs> implemented it later. That's one. Second, it could also be in the plushie. Remember how it, is sh it was shattered and broken? The glass? Look at, look at the monitors. Look at the monitors. I actually okay. can't check this. Okay. That's kind of wonk. Yeah, it is. Okay, but what else do we have? The body. The what? The body. He said, his body. Oh my god! Oh my god, he said, I'm gonna shoot you right through your chest! Really? <laughs> oh man. Oh my, he was literally giving himself out. What the fuck? So, which one is it? Uh, the bullet vest? I don't know, that's the only thing that's an actual bullet. I want to say the bullet. monitors, but... Like... Yeah, maybe it's the monitors. Maybe. Because like, it said bullet the bullet passed through him, so it's not in him. Yeah. yeah. That's why the monitor's missing. And for all we know, he put the plushie there to cover the bullet hole. Yeah. Hmm. High five, Mochi! Alright. Take that! In this room, there is one thing that's clearly missing. Something missing? You sure it's not your brain? <laughs> nice. Fuck you. I'd like you to take Low a look fruit. at the rack of security monitors. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see you. It seems you've noticed, Mr. President. Oh, that's simple. <laughs> Among these images of the plane surroundings, only the feet from the right of the side of the plane is absent. That's what's missing. A single monitor. <laughs> Mr. President, there was originally a monitor here, wasn't there? That's right. Why is there a stuffed toy now? That must have been put there to hide the empty space where the monitor used to be there. Why is the monitor missing and where did it go? Why? Undoubtedly, because it was hit by the bullet. In order to make us think that the bullet really hit the bulletproof vest, it would be a problem if another bullet hole was discovered. So then, where did the monitor go? Where? It should be hidden somewhere inside this plane. There hasn't been a chance of t there hasn't been a chance to dispose of it outside since it was shot. Detective Gumshoe, search this play. Roger that, sir. President Huang, you said extraterritorial laws apply to this plane. I will allow it. There is no problem. I just want to know the truth of Rick's death. Damn it! You think this is a joke? You're all always like this, rook this, rook that! Detective, we have his approval. Go ahead. We... We... Mr. Edward, I found it, sir! Good work, Detective. Now, let's extract the bullets from the monitor. Uh, if I do this here, and then do that... I got it! Well... It's definitely stained with blood. I'm certain this is the bullet that killed Rook. 
bloody bullet. This is the bullet that will crush your arguments. The, the decisive evidence that blows a hole in your logic. If the bullet if the ballistic markings on this bullet do not match the gun that found that was found in the audience area, Miss Swift will be cleared of suspicion. <laughs> What's wrong? Catch got your tongue. Detective, we need to examine the ballistic markings. Send the gun and bullet to forensics. Roger, we should be able to find the clear marking on the bullet, sir. Alright, Roger, sir. It's, he it's him! Now then, let's listen to the forensic report. <laughs> Boarding. First, the blood on the bullet matches the victim's blood. So this bullet really did take Brooke's life. Also, also oh, sorry. Horses nightly fingerprints were found on the gun. Knightley's fingerprints probably came from when he took all our evidence. The real issue is the ballistic markings. If the markings don't match, Miss Swift will be cleared of suspicion. And the bull and the bullet and ballistic, the bullet markings. ballistic marking oh, matched the gun. What? They match? What? No, no way! No way! There is no mistake. The bullet was fired from this gun. What? What? <laughs> oh, that's strange. Looks like I was right after all, naturally. He swapped the guns when he took the evidence. Yeah. Oh. You really think you had me cornered? You misread the board. The one who's been cornered is you! Yeah, motherfucker. Time to die. <laughs> if the ballistic marking matched the gun, there can be no doubt. The bullet that killed Rook was fired from the gun you found in the audience. Who could have used the gun? Not me, because I was on stage. But what about that lady reporter in the audience? All the evidence points to that young lady as the assassin who killed Rook. Well, it's your move, Mr. Prosecutor. Where do you find this gun again? And which gun fired the bullet? At least we know. It ain't me. <sighs> this can't be happening. <laughs> the President and I have admitted to the fake assassination plot. Now it's your turn to admit who the real criminal is. Doesn't make Nicole a criminal. Don't get riled up, Kay. Let him have his say first. After he's done, it won't be too late to begin our counterattack. <gasps> Let me add him, Mr. Oh, sorry. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do anything. Me. All right. It seems like something you need to press, right? Yeah. There's not much here that you, so you, you can really present against, yeah. Uh, he's the gun. I'm being so on stage. Uh, I don't know. That's a random one, I guess. This one. Hold it. What about ballistic markings, maybe? What? <laughs> yeah, that's right, bitch. You're the one who should hold it. Hold it. You proved it yourself. Don't tell me that you're gonna betray your own logic. Should we check our logics? The bullet is stained with the, the victim's middle. blood. So it's clear it took the victim's life. And the ballistic markings match the gun we found in the trash can. Nice, nice. Your face betrays your thoughts, Mr. Prosecutor. Yeah. At this rate, he'll get away. I always get away. Now they got a firm grasp of reality. It's time to take the next step. The link between the gun and the bullet is clear. So, uh. You know what about ballistic markings? I feel like it's the most, like, heavy. Oh, not present? Press. Hold it. No. That's... <laughs> is that how you talk? Didn't you say it earlier? This is the decisive evidence. Yeah. What the heck? I accidentally clicked Roblox. Now why is it opening? <laughs> don't fucking know. That's, it's like in the middle of the screen there. Well, how, do you, uh, how does it feel to have a hole blown through your reason? I don't even use Roblox. <laughs> That's weird. 
The ballistic markings match the gun we found, so... Does that mean Nicole really was the shooter? I'd like to believe otherwise. But you got decisive evidence on his side, sir! Hmm, indeed. How should I proceed? If Miss Swift isn't the killer, then the ballistic markings should not match. Thoughts, Kay? Hmm. If the evidence is impossible, then maybe we should doubt the evidence itself, right? Doubt the evidence? Nicole's definitely not a criminal. So if the evidence says that she's a criminal, there must be something wrong with it. You seem more fully sure of yourself. It's a great thief's intuition. Intuition? Still, it's quite possible. Above all, Miss Swift doesn't seem like the type of person to tell such elaborate lies. In court, the evidence is everything. And yet, here I am doubting it. Which evidence do I doubt? The, the gun. gun, right? Yeah. yeah. If anything suspect here, it can only be the gun. The bullet was discovered just a moment ago. It couldn't have been tampered with yet. Did Knightley have a chance to tamper with the gun? Yes. Mr. President. Mr. President. You shall hand over all the evidence you've collected so far and leave this plane at once. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, be a good boy and do as you're told. <sighs> I cannot resist any longer. Yeah, I That's... love you too. Shut up. That's <laughs> it. He could have tampered with the gun at that time. There's no doubt that this gun is the real murder weapon. In that case, the owner of this gun is... It was me! It was Dick Horse Gumpf. Okay! Horse Faye, come on. What? Horse Faye, what the heck? Horse Faye? Horse Faye. Horse, Horse Faye, John. Horse Faye. John. Anyway. The Knight. Horse Knightly. Horse Faye. What? Look, he has the ponytail and everything. Who? <laughs> Daniel, horse. Horus. Oh. You said horsey. <laughs> Yeah, is they horse knightly? Because in in chess, the knight is a horse. No, you, I heard you said horse, eh, not horse. Okay, what? No, she said horse, horse face. face. Horse face. Oh, okay. Horse face. <laughs> related horse, to the face. Horse face. Face horse. The horse of the face. The face of a horse. Okay, whatever. Take that. He must have switched the guns. Without a doubt, this is Knightley's own gun. Oh! Switch the gun Wow. Uh, even even now, they're still updating the organizer. <laughs> As if it'll come oh, in maybe handy Maybe you can later. use that now. I can use that now. I can. Probably, probably right here, actually. Yeah, probably the one this one, yeah. <laughs> no, no, the one that you were just on. Wait, what? Like oh, yeah, this one. Because it wasn't the... Yeah. <coughs> Excuse Bless me. you. Thank you. All right. Objection. Nightly, you fiend. You switched the guns. The gun that matched the ballistic markings was yours all along. Interesting choice of move you made there. The switch occurred at the time you seized the evidence. When we were arguing with the president over the investigation rights, you detached the laser sight from the gun found in the audit area and attached it to your gun. Then, when you returned the evidence, you gave me your gun. <laughs> Did I do that? So, what you're saying is that I knew you want to examine the ballistic markings? Indeed. Staying one move ahead of your opponent, isn't that the fundamental rule of chess? <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way, Mr. Prosecutor, but you've uh, you given me too much credit. Besides, can you even prove I pulled the old switcheroo with guns? 
All right, I bet this is the last one. At least logic part two. So the gun happened to be the same model as mine. Pure coincidence. But take a closer look. Only one of them has a laser pointer attached to it. Check the number of bullets left in the chamber. Only two shots fired, see? There's no evidence that I switched the guns, right? Giving you too much credit. That hardly sounds like something you would say. Hmm. Guess I'm just more modest than you. <laughs> well, except when I'm in front of a chessboard. Hmm. But we're not in front of a chessboard. That's too bad. Don't use that as an excuse later. I didn't lose this game. I just couldn't find enough evidence. You're the one who should have an excuse ready. You didn't beat me at chess. You only found the evidence. Alright, what is it? Press it? Or present? No, 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 no. What, what is it? I don't, I don't know. What is it? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Go in blind. This channel. But even so. Uh, yep. Oh, oh. But I remember he switched the, the bullets. bullets. I remember he did that. Well, if he switched the bullets, his fingerprints are on it then, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. no, because like remember earlier in the cutscene where he was like playing with his uh, gun? Oh yeah! <laughs> what? I, I don't know how we can prove it because it's part of the animation, but he did it. I think I think that would count. Yeah, yeah no, I think they would count that. They would put that on purpose, right? <laughs> there was a cutscene where Daniel, I don't know if you saw, but he was like <laughs> with the bullets. He was like touching them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I saw that too. I remember that. I just found that really weird. I thought he was gonna shoot us. <laughs> Well, it's a sus statement, but is it this? I mean, technically, he, he would only need one shot to shoot for the balloon and the flag. Since they there won. is evidence that he switched the guns, right? Yeah. What is it? Um, the magic. The fact that he has fingerprints on? No. Yeah, probably, actually, yeah. Can yeah, Shaw's right. His gun? Wait, wait, okay, yeah, look at the. Is what? Well, if this is his, I meant the one he has in his hands right now. The group is the same. We can't examine the fingerprints, unfortunately. Can we check the laser? Mm. My Everything thought about it is like the gun he evident. swapped his with would have marks from putting the laser on it. Yeah. Oh! Maybe, yeah. Switched with the gun, found in the audience area. <laughs> mm. I think Shot's right with the fingerprints on this one. All right. Okay. This is it. Objection. Really? I don't. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> that evidence. Damn it, I'm doubting myself now. Is this. You can't quite call that evidence? Prosecutor Edgeworth, you're trying too hard. Certain traces were left on this gun. Traces that prove this gun belongs to you. Show it to me. What kind of piece you got? A rook, a bishop, it better not be a pawn. The traces nightly left on the gun are right there. <laughs> you left your fingerprints on this gun. Objection! Fingerprints? Ha! Huh, that should be expected. I handled the gun earlier. When I seized your evidence, of course my fingerprints are on it. Objection. But what if the fingerprints are in a place they should not be? <laughs> what? That's not possible! Allow me to show you. There is one place where your fingerprints should not be. This piece of evidence will deal the final blow to your king. 
The chamber, right? right? Oh. Yeah, probably. Because there was that there was an animation of him like loading the gun and everything. It, it can be a bit the, the loader, the laser pointer, because he said that he switched. Edward's logic was that he switched the laser pointer. Because it's basically the same gun. But that's and something he could have easily grabbed it by. Yeah. Instead yeah. Of, I think, my yeah, thought bullets, process yeah. is it's on the trigger, because that proves he actually fired the gun. Oh, we have three rather different than opinions. just holding it. Oh, that's true. We have three different opinions here. <laughs> Except I can't actually. No, I, I think, can't. I can't. I can't select it. It's not the trigger. Yeah, you can't select the it trigger. It could also it's be the laser or the. No, if it do, it would make sense if being a brave one the handle, since he handled it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's he held evidence, so it's only natural, right? That's what he said. Mm -hmm. He said something yeah. like that. If it's on the hammer, so though, that proves he pulled it back so that he could actually fire a bullet, too. Well, how else would you handle oh. a gun? It won't let you click the trigger, though. That's the problem. It There's won't let thing, you examine it. Yes. Yeah, not the trigger, but the hammer. Oh, oh the hammer. Oh, oh you can't. And oh, it's not an option, either. either. I cry. Okay, we gotta pick one. Then, yeah, it's either the bullet or the fucking... Wait, is the, is the laser similar? Yeah, you can, you, can select the, you, can, you can select the laser. Uh, let's do. Let's toss a coin. Someone toss a coin. <laughs> hmm. All right, just pick one and go. I guess. I'm picking the Hello? laser. Laser. This is what? 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 Oh. Huh? Confusion. Wait, what? Oh, so it it gives me multiple chances anyway. I guess I can just. Oh, there's no penalty. Okay, never mind. There's no penalty. <laughs> Yay! No penalty. Here, Detective Gumshoe. Please have a look at the cylinder. Ooh, I love cylinders. Two shots were fired, sir. But where would his fingerprints be? Uh, what? So we have to. Oh, accept... you, you pulled that up. Exam. We have oh, to accept... on the third, the third, um, the third bullet. This one. Which the bullet? No, my my yeah. thinking is he would have swapped. Like these were originally like uh, fully loaded, but then he would have swapped these out with empty shells, which which is what we're looking at right now. He did fire his gun though. Oh, at never the mind. Balloon. I guess oh, the third one is he would have inputted another another bullet. I guess. Oh, that's yeah. true. Go for it. Okay. Yolo. You made right. the switch when you seized the evidence earlier. However, if all you did was switch the guns, you would have been found out right away. That's because the number of bullets fired by the two guns are different. A gun found in the audience error by two shots, sir! Then, what about Mr. Knightley's gun? He fired two shots at the balloon when he was on the stage. And later, one shot to kill Rook. Three shots in total, not counting the number of shots he's fired since then. And after each of those times, you would reload the bullets. Tell us, Knightley, were you wearing gloves when doing that? <laughs> Officer, in your report earlier, where were Knightley's fingerprints found on the gun? The one just found on the outside of the gun. There was a found on the bullet as well. If all you did was handle the evidence, why would your fingerprints be on the bullet? <laughs> That's. With this, it has been proven that you switched the guns. The gun which fired the bullet that took the victim's life. It belongs to you. Horse Knightley, you're the one who stole Rook's life. You are the true assassin. I, 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 I. Checkmate. <laughs> I like how he aggressively spins it. <laughs> He had all that in his pockets and threw it in the air? Yeah, that is the best breakdown Wait, animation I've ever seen. Wait, weren't there samurai dogs? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah there was so a the blue badger is on Samurai Dogs. I think there's a the thinker as well. The, the, clock, the thinker clog. It was there too. I, I should have been made leader. Me. Rook, that piece of scum. If he hadn't been for him, I would have had complete control over everybody. Meddling kids. My assassin. <laughs> Alba actually said the meddling kids. <laughs> oh. It's kind of funny. My assassination plan was perfect. My plan was perfect. The music. Hmm. Love it. Detective Gumshoe, if you please. Roger that, sir. I'm gonna slip to this music. I'm gonna make a playlist. This is good music, I agree. Edgeworth! This game isn't over yet. You hear me? I, I. That's enough. Hmm. The rest of this game will continue in the courtroom. Ah. Uh -huh. Damn. Damn it! Damn you! Hey, no bad words. You're coming with. <laughs> PG thirteen, man. PG thirteen. You put it in the sweater here. now, pal. <laughs> Oh, he's buff again. Oh, his honkers are back. His honkers are back. Uh -huh. He grew them back. <laughs> he inflated himself again. Simple? Put his shapewear back on. Hey. You have my gratitude. You exposed a murderer amongst my bodyguards, and for that, I am truly in your debt. I like, I like yeah. that he sounds like a chat again. As soon as he stepped outside the plane, he reverted back to his king-like persona. Some time ago, when I proposed the fake assassination plan... You want me and not Rook? Rook declined, so I'm asking you, what do you say? <sighs> Uh, all right, let's do this. I'm, I'll come up with this perfect plan. I can even use that guy as a chess piece. When Knightley said that, his eyes were overflowing with hatred towards Rook. Frankly, I was quite anxious about asking Knightley instead of Rook. Now that I recall those events, he probably sensed the anxiety in my countenance. Perhaps that is what gave him the impudus for murder. Mr. President, if you had not orchestrated that fake plan, this would not have happened. That is your sin. A sin that won't disappear. Yes, you are absolutely correct. You have my sincerest apologies. I too must bear some responsibility for this. Even so, I am most grateful to you. I thank you for solving the mystery of Rook's death. I am scheduled to stay in this country for a little longer, but if any of you ever wish to visit the Republic of Zhang Fa, you will always be welcome. Lolly, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy for you, Nicole. You were set up as the suspect for the murder. Still, your involvement with the fake assassination plan remains a fact. You will have to submit to the police questioning later. You should know that there's still a possibility that you may be charged with some crime. Yeah, I know. Sorry about all of this. I understand you want to catch a scoop, but there's a line that should not be crossed. I hear ya. I promise that I promise to reflect on this. We did it, Mr. Edgeworth. That was awesome. Prosecutor Edgeworth solves presidential assassination attempt. It's gonna be big news. But big news? It's the prosecutor. Would you mind telling us how you feel about solving this case? Uh, that was certainly a quick change of attitude. No comment. 
Oh, it's the Warny. The reason is because. Warny, what? Warny, Warny, whatever she's saying. This case is oh, not right, right. over yet. Yeah, not over. What do you mean, sir? What shows that this case is not over yet? Something with the. Oh. Hey, here we go. Take that. Take that. The killer's card. The killer still hasn't carried out his request. You mean killing the president? I hope this doesn't turn into a larger incident. An assassination attempt on the president of Zheng Fa. News of this incident spread across the entire country. The mass media also hounded me as I began to prepare for the trial of Horace Knightley. Everyone had seen the news, and everyone was talking about it. However, amidst the commotion, nobody noticed that the game had only just begun. There we go. And we will see you guys next time. That is the longest tutorial oh, case shit. I've ever played. Oh my god. Yeah, no, god. it is. At least it but... wasn't like the last one, though. We're yes. gonna watch the opening cutscene of the next thing. Of the okay. Next okay, okay, watch okay. the opening cutscene. It's fun. Save, save the game. Save the data. All right. Oh man! Oh man! man oh boy! Oh boy! Man. Oh boy! Who is that, is that silhouette? Face? What is it? <gasps> Don't drop the soap. <laughs> Oh my god, the animation. We have the Smurfs too, where he locked all the Smurfs and tried to stick it or, like take their blood, whatever, magic. Did they kill Horus? Oh my god. Is that Morris? It might be Morris. Morris for Horus? Eh <laughs> What? Oh! A dog! Whoa! What the dog oh, doing? A cow? A cow? A cow? A cow? We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs> oh. oh, so this is what the detention room looks like. Oh. Yeah. It looks needy. Hey, it's we're in the detention room again. Hey. Oh. The guard's still there on the other side. He's still we're there. <laughs> we're in detention again. Oh, man. All right. There we go. Turnabout target. Very nice. Okay. Huh? What an opening.